I was going to record a video right after I heard the news, but then I decided to take a nice long drive. And I have some things to say. What's up, guys? I literally just posted, I think yesterday on X, Sydney Prescott, that's the tweet. Uh, and then here it is the next day, Nev Campbell. Uh, she makes a post on Instagram stating that she's coming back to the Scream franchise, Scream 7. I'm not going to read the whole bloody disgusting report for you. You all have read it probably a couple of times. Uh, but the, the gist of it is it's official. Nev Campbell is coming back for Scream 7. And also Kevin Williamson is directing the movie, which is, I think is a good thing. Uh, but the, the script is going to be written by Guy Busick uh, from a story by Guy Busick and James Vanderbilt. I should be ecstatic about this news. And let me just put this out there right now. I hold no ill will, zero ill will to, to Nev Campbell at all. Uh, she wanted to be in uh, Scream 6. She was asking what she was worth. And Spyglass Entertainment pretty much told her She's not worth it. Uh, so now she's going to be in this movie. And I think there's a reason because I think Spyglass Entertainment is trying to save face. Melissa Barrera just recently, last weekend, was at a con and she expressed that she would be more than happy, and I'm paraphrasing, to come back to this franchise. Um, but under one condition, that uh, Spyglass would be no part of it, that they would sell the rights. Now, I don't know how, you know, strict she is to, to those conditions. Maybe they could get into a room and, and time can, can heal the wounds and then maybe she could eventually come back. I don't think the door is officially closed to Melissa Barrera. I curse in my, uh, my videos from time to time. I'm not against it. But sometimes I think it just really helps to get the message across. And this is the message I want to make in this video. Fuck you, Spyglass. Seriously. For putting... Nev Campbell in this situation, who I don't have official sources on this, but I believe Nev Campbell did try to get Melissa Barrera in a room. I don't, they might have gotten into a room. Uh, but for whatever reason, Melissa Barrera, she's just not comfortable with coming back. And I fully respect her for that. Whether you disagree or not with Melissa Barrera, uh, I don't think it really even matters because when somebody is literally just asking for um, to stop suffering, you know, to stop the suffering. That's literally what she's asking for. And I think there's worse things to ask for. Uh, I think there are less safe causes out there to fight against. And uh, for them to jump the gun and fire her to begin with, I'm not going to go too deep into that. We've had that video before. We've had that discussion. But Spyglass made this decision uh, to flex and say, you're fired uh, for what happened. And because of that decision, of course, Melissa Barrera has a lot of backers, as she should. And uh, a lot of people were saying, you know what? Fuck you, Scream franchise. Which, I don't know if they should be saying that. But they were definitely saying, fuck you, Spyglass. So what is Spyglass doing now? I, this is my opinion. I think they're going to pay Nev Campbell what she wanted in the first place. And, you know, God bless Nev Campbell for, for taking that paycheck. God bless her uh, as much as possible. But this is just Spyglass trying to save face and get on the good side of fans because they don't just have Scream, they have other properties too. They just had Thanksgiving. You know, life goes on, movies are made, um, and we're all in a bubble, and it might not even matter anyway. And, and, and I think Scream 7, if it's a good movie, it'll be a hit. And uh, am I boycotting Scream 7? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm here to support Nev Campbell, uh, of course. But it does leave a, um, a bad stain on the whole thing. And I hate that Nev Campbell can't be celebrated appropriately like she should be. Uh, just because of, I'm going to say it, the fuck up that uh, Spyglass made in this situation. So I'm not going to waste any more of your time. I think you know how I feel about this situation. It's an ugly situation. And uh, it's a shame. And even when we go and sit in the theater to watch Scream 7, and, and if the trailer's like the greatest freaking trailer you've seen in years... There's still going to be just that little bit of a stain, that little bit of a stain, right? So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's my thoughts, guys.